Hello and welcome to Warwick iCast, coming to you from ProDrive's test track in Warwickshire. It's here that the university is hosting a unique day, highlighting the business and technology aspects of hybrid vehicle manufacturing. Coming up, we speak to motorsport mogul Dave Richards. But first, as well as getting the chance to get behind the wheel of a number of pollution-free products, such as this hydrogen-powered BMW, the exhibition has a more important role in the search for an environmentally friendly vehicle. We're working very closely with a large number of industrial partners, many of whom are, are developing eco-friendly vehicles. And I think this is a good showcase, it's a good opportunity for them to show their vehicles and for us to indicate what we can do to help as well. It's dissemination, it's publicity. I think we're at a stage now with the research where uh, hybrid vehicles and eco-friendly vehicles are becoming much more mainstream. And we're at a stage where we, we do need to, to make it more better known to the public. One of the things that we're really keen on is to, to get universities and manufacturers and the regional development authorities into a position where we can create partnerships. Um, all of the funding that's come out of the low carbon transport innovation strategy is predicated on the basis that we can put together partnerships to draw down the 50 million of funding that's been targeted on, on low carbon vehicles. Senex are a perfect partner for this event. Uh, Warwick University, WMG, have been doing a lot of research uh, that, that helps the business case, it helps understand when's the appropriate time and what's the appropriate technology to develop. Uh, and Senex have uh, their uh, national remit and they have a, a large number of companies that they deal with that, that es essentially represent the market. So together we, we cover both sides, supply and demand. Warwick is in a, a preeminent position to be able to be lead academic partner on, on the, these projects because of its reputation uh, in the Warwick Manufacturing Group, its relationship with Jaguar Land Rover and Ford. Uh, so they really are very well placed to be a lead academic institution in these partnerships and we really hope that they will um, help us broker uh, a means of getting this money out of government and into R&D and development in order to, uh, to push ahead the eco vehicle uh, technology. We've got quite a long window before anything takes over from conventional engines and hybridised powertrains. So we've probably got 20, 30 years and in that time we'll say that virtually every vehicle on the road that the new product is being sold will be an eco-friendly vehicle by today's standards. Taking advantage of this unique event is Arup, a company with close ties to the university. Well, we've had a connection with Warwick University really for quite a number of years and most recently it's been looking at their hybrid work and evaluating and helping support that, uh, particularly looking at how to integrate the, their tools and techniques into the wider environment. So for example actually developing a sustainable transport system is something that's very close to Arup's heart and we like to take the holistic viewpoint. Arup's is a very broad design and engineering consultancy that not only looks at design development of vehicles but also con uh, transportation planning and through into master planning of cities, so actually laying down where those buildings will be, the transport system there, and how people interact and use those, uh, those systems and vehicles. Well, we need to look at not just the vehicles themselves and how they operate and how the environmental credentials of those vehicles, but actually we need to look at the wider context as well, the social and the economic context. How do these vehicles integrate with the infrastructure around them and the buildings? How are people going to use them and how can we optimise those solutions to ensure that they minimise the environmental and sustainable impact? Also on show is Warwick Control Technologies, a successful spin-off company set up by four researchers from Warwick University, including Chris Quigley. The key benefit is for us to be able to uh, network with uh, lots of different people from the industry. I mean, currently we have uh, connections from uh, Formula One motor race into environmentally friendly vehicles, but uh, here there's uh, certainly a sort of niche area which we can certainly get involved with. Well, one man who knows all about motorsport and whether its future can be green is Dave Richards, chairman of ProDrive. The awareness of, uh, of alternative fuels and the opportunity for the industry to talk to itself, find out what's going on, where the expertise lies, look for partnerships is quite critical. So in that respect, events like this are, are, are fundamental to that. 
No one yet has got the sort of holy grail about alternative fuel motoring, but unless we start to explore all the avenues, unless we talk regularly and explore everything that we're each doing in our own respective areas, we're never going to find the answer. How important are university, especially Warwick, and business partnerships in this search? I'm sure that at the end of the day, it, it's not the old hands that are going to come up with the new ideas, it's new young people developed out of our university system and amongst the sort of environment where these new ideas are put forward, that that's where the answer is going to come from at the end of the day. I play a very small part as sitting on the advisory board at the Warwick Business School, but I don't suppose in my own right that I can claim any uh, great credit for anything, but at the end of the day, if we don't support the business school, we don't support the university, we'll never get the young graduates and the, and the new technologies of the future. Prodi is right at the, at the heart of motorsport, not just in one category, but across the range, whether it's Formula One, sports car racing, World Rally Championship, and the whole of motorsport cannot ignore this move towards biofuels for the future. Well, that's all from Warwick Highcast, but while I'm still here, I'm just going to try out a couple more vehicles. Bye for now.